Ladies and gentlemen of the fourth estate, good afternoon. Let me thank you immensely for your continued partnership and support at this critical moment. We cannot win this war without crucial support of the media. Welcome to our regular briefing sessions on measures of containing the spread of coronavirus pandemic COVID-19. Mandera County continues to upscale surveillance and containment measures by screening passengers arriving by road, by air, screening at the border crossing points, public sanitization campaigns, fumigation of public areas, identification and preparation of isolation and quarantine centers across the county. As you are aware, a lot of measures have been taking taken, including closure of religious gathering places, madrasas and duxes, and restricted weddings and funeral meetings. And uh, we've availed hand washing facilities uh, in public places, among others. Previously, through our surveillance, we have picked two international travelers who did not finish the mandatory 14 days quarantine before arrival in Mandela. They were subsequently quarantined in our facilities until they were released after 14 days and were declared uh, healthy. Also, previously we submitted five samples to National Influenza Center in Nairobi and the results were all negative. On the 5th of April 2020, at around 11 o'clock in the morning, a call came through our county hotline from a private health facility in Mandela Town, indicating the presence of two persons with flu-like symptoms and fever. Our COVID-19 response team picked up the two, the two persons and isolated them at Mandela County referral hospital isolation facility the entire family contacts of the two the entire family contacts of the two as well as two clinicians who attended to them were all put under mandatory quarantine samples were collected and sent to nairobi as patient management started the results have just come back this morning and uh, the results have sadly been confirmed the two are coronavirus positive, making them the first two index cases in Mandela County. We urge our passengers who traveled aboard the Maka bus on Tuesday 31st March 2020 from Nairobi and arrived in Mandela on Wednesday, the 1st of April 2020, to present themselves to the nearest health facility or self-quarantine themselves with discipline and dedication for 21 days. The patients are reported to have been seated on seat numbers 13 and 14 on this bus. Mandela County COVID-19 team has embarked on contact tracing and the first 14 persons are under quarantine and the process of identifying other contacts vigorously is ongoing through investigation of the passenger manifest jointly with the bus management and thereafter contact of the passengers who have uh, the passengers uh, who were on that bus. The latest development confirms our fears of the reality of the possible spread of this disease through human traffic and reaffirms the decision by His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya, President Uru Kenyatta, to cancel movement in and out of Nairobi as well as other counties. We stand by the decision of the President to cancel travel in and out of Nairobi, but considering the total lockdown and the announcement of the President and the subsequent cancellation of all flights by Kenya Airports Authority, and Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. We will have major difficulties in having samples taken to Nairobi for specimen testing and investigation in a timely manner. 
Previously, it was taking us about four days turnaround time for getting results back in Mandela. We urge the Cabinet Secretary for Health, Mr. Mutai Kagwe, to consider approving Kemri to establish a sample collection center in Mandera now that the flights are, have been banned. And uh, we have COVID-19 cases, two of them reported now to have happened. The issue of timely testing and response is extremely critical. We cannot overemphasize this issue. And if our capacity to test in time does not happen, the risk factor is going to increase because the longer it takes for us to test, the longer the contacts are going to increase. Going forward, I would like to ask all our non-state actors to coordinate the activities with the committee co-chaired by the county commissioner, Mr. Onesmas Kiyatha, and the deputy governor, His Excellency Mohamed Arai, on all coordination activities by non-state actors in the, this joint effort to deal with the challenge at hand. We have a secretariat within the county headquarters where the activities are being coordinated from, from to ensure maximum impact. We will extend our preparedness by setting aside isolation wards to cover all sub-counties by assigning trained health personnel and the strategic stationing of three dedicated ambulances for COVID-19 evacuation and referrals. We continue to face major challenges with enforcement of social distancing, especially in the public transport and trucks ferrying quarry workers. This poses huge risk of spreading the virus and we request the police to enforce social distancing as required. Finally, we urge the public to, sp to stop all non-essential travel within the county. Thank you very much.